Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS World where the developers, Eagle Dynamics, have decided to allow us to try out all the planes as well as the maps for the entire month as opposed to what they did the previous month where they had uh, one plane for every two days or something like that or uh, alternated the modules. We have all the modules available uh, except for campaigns and such and I don't have the beta version so I don't have the JF17 but and i haven't downloaded all of them yet i'm not that eager we've still got uh what 21 modules i haven't downloaded but are available uh so and some of those are uh flaming cliffs ones though so those will be duplicates but it's very nice of them to do this and i will take advantage of it and i will uh commit to buying one of these things uh for the previous month i had committed to buying one of those planes and I decided to go with the F-16, as a matter of fact, so I did buy that one. And it was a good price, and it's a cute plane. I couldn't resist. And uh, I don't have the F-16 in any other game, like X-Plane 11 or anything like that. So it seemed a logical choice. The F-18 was good. I liked the F-18, but I do have one in X-Plane 11, so there wasn't as much of a priority. And I also have the Harrier in X-Plane 11. So, but of course, these are going to be better. That goes, goes without saying. So, yeah. I got to try out a few of the planes, but I didn't actually get to try out the Harrier here or the A-10C. I did try out some that I did not feature in uh, YouTube videos. I tried out the Spitfire and the MiG-15 and such. But, um, yeah. This time I'm going to go with the C-101 Aviojet, which is a Spanish trainer slash attack plane. And... We will see what what it's like. It, it's not the likely choice for which one I'm going to get at the end of this month. Um, probably the likely choice is going to be the Hornet. But we'll see. I'll give everything a fair try. And so the last did the MiG-15. This time we're doing the C-101. And uh, let's just go through the tutorials and see what they are like. It's a straight wing plane. It's got a cute little engine. I think it's like 18 kilonewtons. Okay, startup notes. It says, in the case of guarded Cori push buttons, first make click to open the guard, then press the... Okay, um, so we have to open guards before clicking things. Okay, that's understandable. Uh, press space bar when you're told to do so. Yeah, mission is quite long. No one said it was easy to get a type rating. No, there's just startup. It should be fairly easy to start up a trainer. Carrier inspection has been completed. All right. The before startup procedure. Yes, please. Step one. Finally, this Batteries is the real startup. On. Battery on. Yep. Reset the master warning. Where is the master? Follow. Yes. Reset the master caution. There's a master warning and a master caution. Step two. We check the voltage for each battery separately, and each should be 24 volts. So disconnect the left battery, and the voltmeter should read greater than or equal to 24 volts. Okay, so that's the disconnect, and that's more than 24 volts. Oh wait, that's off. Okay. Okay, now that's engaged. That's off. That's more than 24 volts. Okay. Mm. Okay, so they each have lids. Ah, uh, no. Alright. Alright. That should be fine. Back the left one no, I've already done all that stuff. And again, the voltmeter should read greater than or equal to 24 volts. Yeah, I got that checked. Now reconnect the right one, leaving both connected. Yeah. Step three, GPU on. This allows power to flow from the GPU. Now setting the GPU connection to on automatically disconnects the battery in the generator. Yep. Step four, essential bus transfer set to on. Okay. On, the essential bus is connected to the secondary bus which is then energized, and you will notice that we have intercom, among other things. We set it to off, it will be de-energized, 
as it depends on the primary bus and is not receiving power. The essential bus, as the name suggests, supplies essential equipment that should not rely solely on a bus for safety reasons. Step 5. Set the DC bus tie to on. Okay. Now the secondary bus is connected to the primary bus. Since the secondary bus receives current from the GPU... Let me guess, we have to hit the master caution and master warning again. Step oh six. no. AC inverter to standby. Here we can okay, check stand the inverter is operational. You'll notice that the AVI, HSI, and RMI instruments jump as they stop receiving alternate current. Step 7. Ensure that the intercom is set to open. Now you can note that we already did this in the interior inspection. Yeah. Alright. Step 8. Adjust your seat and pedals. The proper seating position is one that allows you to see the bulkhead flushed with the top of the fault light's upper frame. Also, the pedo tube is just seen above the nose. Yeah, I see the pedo tube. I think. All right, or it's not satisfied with my seat position. Really, you're not satisfied with my seat position? Okay. Step nine: the ignition lamp. Press and check it. You will see that when it's pressed, it's turned on. Yep. Now, this doesn't indicate that the ignition is functioning. Just to check the bulb. Just All to check the bulb. Checked in the same way by pressing them. If you turn them, you can adjust the intensity of the lights. Okay, I, I tested it. Step ten: Ensure that the computer is set to on. When the computer is on, the quarry is off. Uh, I guess it'll warm up. Well, I think this is on then, right? Step 11. Fuel panel. Check. The aircraft is equipped with a main fuel tank fuselage, which is located just behind the rear cabin. This tank provides fuel directly to the engine through the submerged electric pump while the fuel valve is open. Additionally, the engine has its own mechanical fuel pump that allows autonomous operation below 25,000 feet. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with the fuel? Well, they, they have, it says lights on and that makes me unhappy. Wing fuel tanks. There's a center tank, a left outer wing tank, and a right outer wing tank. Yeah. The center tank has two transfer pumps. Yeah. And the left outer right outer tanks have one each. Yeah. To verify the correct operation of the fuel system, follow these steps. Yeah. Step A. Fuel quantity switch. Press. Okay. FUS indication goes off and the gauge shows FUS plus center wing tank. B. Verify each transfer pump in each wing tank has fuel. Tell that if it shows a green indication. Green indication is fine. For each one separately. Pump. Ought. FUS indication goes off. Gauge shows FUS plus center wing tank. And there's an indication of transfer pressure. Pump. Off. FUS indication goes on. Gauge shows FUS. And there's no transfer pressure indication. Okay, I think they're all good. Man. I already did the manuals. As in AUT. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. It's alright. Step 12. Transfer pump. Alright. Auto. Only connect those pumps in tanks with green indications. They're all good. turn off. If 
if it's not, it will continue on, and this could damage the pump as it runs dry. Anyway, we have that option in case the automatic mode fails. Step 13. Fuel quantity selector in FUS. Quarry indication is on. Well, it should be okay. Step 14. You always want the lights off. Yeah, a lav went off. This is a stall warning test, so set the switch to the sist position. All right. Avis heard caution panel light comes on. Uh, I couldn't see the light at the same time. The panel starts to vibrate, and after ten seconds, the caution panel light goes out. Okay, I see the light now. And there's the. Okay, it's fine. Or do you need me to hold it for the full 10 seconds? Great. Alright. Okay, I thought I already did what it wanted me to do with the stall warning system. But it's not moving on. Tried spacebar. Alright, kneeboard. Fuel quantity selection is fine. Boost pump switches. I mean, I guess it's on. I didn't actually highlight that one. Uh, okay, well, the warning light has extinguished, so it's okay. Oh, there's a stall warning. Check. All right. We've checked that. And voltmeter. Check 28 volts. Yes. Warning. Caution panel. Dim bright. Test. Uh, it's all right. Inverter switch, though. That, I don't know. Oh, that's that switch. Um, that's at normal, okay. Next. One four red, one amber. Yes, those are the warning lights we have. Uh, ITT uh, is less than 200 degrees, it seems that way. Area clear. Pretty much, yep. Ignition switch start. That's the ignition switch start. Two seconds. Ignition lamp illuminates. Voltage greater than 15, yeah. Okay, N2 power level. Alright. Pressure rise within 10 seconds. Fuel flow stabilized. Um, fuel flow. Yeah. Fuel flow is at 200 pounds per hour. Hydraulic pressure 3000 psi. Well, it's in the green arc there. And ignition lamp off. I believe so, yes. So we've got N1 at 29 to 33, seems that way, N2, 58, uh, yes, it's at 61-ish. Alright, so with that, um, GPU off, oh, okay, I guess that's good enough. GPU unplug, so... Ground crew, ground electric power off. Chief, turn off the ground power. Copy. I mean, I'm a little bit worried. I don't want to. I think ground we need to get the generator on. Is there two generator switches or just that one? I think there's just that one. Okay, generator's on. That thing still wants to stall warning thing. All right. Generator is on. Nav con I don't want to talk to anybody as usual. We already uncaged uh, artificial horizon. IFF standby. 
Okay, I'm gonna uh, hit the master warning light. Uh, Alright, so... Hydraulic pressure is in the green. Air brake. Um, they didn't actually mention where the air brake was, but let's just do an exterior ch check that it's in. Seems in to me. Let me toggle it. Okay, toggling the air brake. Alright. That's fine. Uh, flaps down for takeoff. Flaps. Ah, there we go. I don't think we need more than that for takeoff. Cute little flaps. Alright. Uh, ailerons check. Well, let's just do exterior ailerons check. Alright. Uh, trim tone breaker in. I think we did that during the general check. Um, pitch trim set for takeoff, negative um, 1.5. That's a lot of pitch trim. Okay, considering it goes to negative 2 there. Alright, well we've got that set. Trim tone breaker as required. Well, I mean, I guess we just heard the trim tone, huh? Aileron trim is fine. Pito heat and probe check and as required. They didn't actually mention where that was in the cockpit, did they? Anyway, I'm sure it's okay. Stall warning switch I set to on. They didn't read that. Engine anti-ice is just as required. The computer uh, we had turned on. Uh, lights are fine. Instruments are fine-ish. <laughs> and uh, oxygen I had flipped on earlier hopefully they didn't actually say which side was on okay now we can close the canopy so where's the hot spot for that uh, left control C okay okay it's closing and that's good all right taxi we've checked the flight controls um, we do still have this block cab. I don't know what that warning light is. No, let me just stow the parking brake. It says rudder becomes effective at 40 knots. Okay, well, I don't know what the one warning light is. We're probably going to find out the hard way. Okay, we are moving. Well, that's a good sign. It looks like the runway's over there. I don't know how they want me to do nose wheel steering. Usually when you brake, you can steer the nose wheel, but... Okay, the normal keys for nose wheel steering did not seem to work, so let's search for that. No, no wheel, no nose wheel. Steering? No. It's just the rudder, in which case we have to taxi like 40 knots? That doesn't seem right. I mean, I can do the wheel brake. Oh, that's got differential brakes. So left control X and left alt X. All right. Um, left control X. Okay. All right. So it's differential braking. That's fair enough. So I'm just going to try and take off and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, I guess a request takeoff even. I don't know if they're going to respond to me. What? What happened? Oh, no, 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 no. I stopped. There's, there's no sound. Oh, God. I don't want to go this way. I've got it on full throttle right now. Oh no, we're bogged down. Grass is powerful. Grass can stop air forces, apparently. Uh, the other warning light is off though, so that's a good sign. 
even though me being stuck on grass is not a good sign. So, um, I think we're just going to take a look at the other tutorials. I started it up fine, it looks like. It looks started up. I didn't get to take off though. So let me take a look at what the other tutorials might offer. I can't say I really want to uh, have the explanation of the instrument flight and uh, flight director system right now. Um, yeah. Those aren't, I mean, if they offered a weapon system tutorial, I'd be more interested. But yeah, I think we'll just do a free flight around Dubai. And that will ensure that I have a sense of the the plane. So we'll go from a ramp again. Okay. So I'm skipping through all of the unnecessary things. We've got the knee board still with the checklist. Let's do the... Before we start, we're going to turn on that and we're going to stop the warning. All right. And we got to call for GPU power. Chief, turn on the ground power. I'm going to expedite this obviously. Copy. Okay, so GPU on. Excellent. Okay, the voltage is zero because we are no longer on the battery. And essential bus transfer switch is. Oh, oh no, it's the camera. There. And we've got the warnings again. Alright, so that's fine. Intercom, fine. Inver switch. That was the one behind there. Or oh, that's a test thing. Inver switch, standby. Okay, like that. Okay, and then. Seats, pedals, ignition light, press and check. Well, we'll do that. That's fine. Computer switch on. Well, I mean, it is on. That would be the warning light if it was off. Fuel panel check. Well, uh, they look. I'm not going to go through all the individual checks. We're going to go ahead and activate all the fuel pumps. And fuel quantity selector is FUS. Okay, so. I guess. That has to be like that. All right, so the LLAV comb light in the warning panel is off. Stall warning. All right, we got that. Okay, so fuel flow check, fire check. Voltimeter is at 28 volts. Okay, inverter switch normal. Okay. Okay, four red and one amber. No, we have five red and one amber. Hold your horses. Well, let's get the lights on, I suppose. Storm lights and auxiliary lights. Oh, my oxygen would be nice. Oh, that was the extra warning light. All right, we're good for red and one amber. Area clear. Looks good. So ignition start. One, two. Okay, voltage stays above 15. And we're waiting for N1 to go above 10. All right, 
so we can idle the throttle. Okay, so we've got 200 pounds per hour is getting there. Fuel flow stabilized, oil pressure fine, ignition lamp is off, and we've got more than 50% in two, and more than 20% in one. Uh, everything's in the good range, the happy range. So, with that, GPU off. And tell them, the ground crew, to turn that off. Turn off the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now off. Okay, generator on. And that light goes off. Let me just check on the outside. Everything is fine. Break. Yes. Flaps, flaps, mm -hmm. ailerons, rudder, okay, all right, tone breaker, I mean that, that was in ready, right, yep, so let's check out the pitch trim. And it's making the tone. Okay, that's the right pitch trim. And continuing on, aileron trim is fine. Pito heat. I think that is on on. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. Okay, anti ice. I never found that. Okay, the computer we turned on, the lights we turned on, the instruments are fine, I turned on the oxygen. Um, the canopy is what has that block cab thing. So hopefully when I close it, maybe I didn't lock it last time. Okay, so there must be a lock for the canopy that I missed. So we closed it, and which one is, the, where's the lock? This looks like locking mechanism but it doesn't let me highlight it oh wait no that's opening it great well let's float over is this lock yeah okay there's a canopy locking handle all right so that should be fine and that's off all right let's try and not hit grass this time okay request take off request take off Okay, what are the chances I'm actually going to get cleared for takeoff? Well, I'm just going to go. Sorry, bud. If you're not going to clear me, that's your problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, that looks good to me. Go. It's got a turbo fan whine. Because it's a turbo fan. Straight wing, it should be able to take off pretty soon. Okay, whoop, whoop, don't stall. Okay, gears up. Flaps up. Let me trim down a bit. That was a hefty trim we put on it. I mean, certainly I like cute planes, and this is a cute plane. It has that going for it. But it's also a fairly slow plane. So, hmm. 
Not the most enticing choice available. A rocket this is not, obviously. Ooh. Also not the most aerobatic plane, I don't think. Yeah, no. No, definitely not the most aerobatic plane. It's good to make sure that the trainee doesn't get into trouble, but that's about it. Whoa, look at this thing. KA-50. That KA-50 is not doing so well. Whoa, sorry. I was entranced by the KA-50 going like that. Wait, I still want to... Look at that thing! Really, you sort of want to put it out of its misery or something. Okay, well I think I'll try and land it. That shouldn't be a problem in theory, but you never know with me. Gear down. Okay. I'm not treating it very well, but... Oh, I think we'll just keep the air brakes out through landing. was a very steep approach. I wasn't being very uh, gradual about it. Let's see. Okay. Wow, it takes a while to slow down. Uh, let's try the taxiway. Oh no. Uh, oh, I've gone a little bit far. Gone a little bit far. Oh no, I've hit soil. I've hit soil. Yeah, I don't think I was operating the brakes right. Well, I didn't pull the parking brakes, but don't think I'm supposed to use the parking brakes. Um, yeah, I didn't feel like I was operating the brakes right. Okay, so, but anyway, I didn't burst into flames, but this is a trainer for heaven's sakes. So, yep, there we have it. My first uh, flight with the C-101. Pretty easy to start up. Nothing surprising about the startup procedure at all, very simple. And no tutorials on weapon systems, though it was an attack plane, so it should be able to have them, but I haven't checked that out yet. Anyway, so uh, with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.